Byron by Thomas Frederick Young Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone While genius endows the sons of men With eloquence or with poetic pen, It leaves them still the frailties of our frame, It does not curb but fans the unrighteous flame it gives a wider nobler range of thought but such advantage oft is dearly bought man's lower nature troubles scarce the low but like a fiend at nature's high doth go of such a nature now these lines shall tell who wrote full many a line and wrote them well byron the noble sensitive and high whose bosom hath not heaved for thee a sigh whose breast hath not full often given room to mournful thoughts for thy untimely doom thy genius soared to regions bright and fair and thou such times were with thy genius there and then thy lofty mind neath passion's sway left its high throne and wandered far astray twas strange and sad that one so richly blest should find within the world so much unrest but we can in thy life and nature see the means to some extent that felled the tree thy shining youth men much too freely praised and then the cry of blame too loudly raised the fickle crowd thy person loudly cursed and then thou fled and dared them do their worst unfortunate in love thy youthful heart was pained and likewise with the burning smart thy vanity received from critics pen which often makes sarcastic stronger men let us be fair with thee thy fate deplore and grieve thy youthful death if nothing more let us in mercy judge for thus we can e'en with thy faults thou wert a noble man end of byron this recording is in the public domain